Hello everyone, welcome back to Talented Developer. Till now we have done how to do a lab authentication. We have also learned how to add the user and get the user. So in this tutorial, we are going to delete user on the basis of UID. So what you can do, you can just open your LDAP authentication controller class and you can copy this API. So now we have to change this API name as delete user. So what will be happen, we will call this API and we will try to pass our UID value as a path variable like how we did earlier for get user by UID. Similarly, you can just copy this one and you can replace this function name. Now what will be happen, we will try to get the UID and we will try to pass the UID into LDAP service and this LDAP service is responsible for the LDAP operation. So if you are following this tutorial from earlier video, then you can easily understand how we are doing all the operation. So now you can copy this one and just come down and you can close this one. So what will be happen, we will get the UID from this API and we will try to call this function delete user from LDAP service. So what you can do, you can just come and change as a delete user and here we no need to return anything so just you can use here void so now what will be happen once you got the uid then you have to find like okay what is the actually user dn so you can easily unbind so what you have to do just you can type here name and you can give the object name here as user dn equal to ldap name builder and here you have to select new instance and you can pass the base dn so base DN, if you scroll up, you can see here I have already created a static base DN and here OU equal to user and OU equal to system. So if you see here, this user actually belongs from OU equal to user and OU equal to system and you can also cross check from this top level DN. So you can just copy this one. So after the base DN, how we are going to get the user? So definitely we are going to get by UID. So just use here add and pass here UID comma UID. Then use dot build. So you can see here it is showing a lab name Java X dot naming dot lab. No need to import from this one. I feel some issue is going with my system. That's why it is not showing. So what you can do just you can come and copy this one and type here dot name. So you can see we got the user DN. Now what we have to do, we have to just unbind that user from the LDAP connection. So for LDAP connection, we are using here LDAP templates. You can just copy this one and just type LDAP template dot unbind. And here you can pass the name class value. So our code is ready. So you can see what will be happen. Here we'll get the user ID and that UID will try to pass into this function. And in the LDAP service, we'll try to get user DN and after that, we'll try to unbind. So if you open this one, you can directly see here, here you have to pass the final DN. Now what we have to do, no need to use here return thing because currently our function is here void. So once everything will be work fine, then just try to return here user deleted. So now you can shut down the existing server and you can restart. Just try to log in. And what is the API name? API name is here delete user. So localhost 8080 delete user and we have to pass the UID. So what is the UID we are going to use? Here we are going to use UID equal to 3. So just try to pass here 3 and click enter. You can see here we are getting message user deleted. That means user has been deleted successfully. So let's come and try to refresh this OU. So you can see that UID 3 has been deleted. So this is a way to delete user from the LDAP server using the Java Spring Boot. That's it for the day. Thank you. Bye.